Hello and welcome to MGP 295. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, the Sheepdog, Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hi. Hello. What? Hello. Is that your new way of saying hello, Sheepdog? It's a word, isn't it? Well, it was. it sounded mispronounced to me. I think we should re-record from episode one all the way through <laughs> to cover yeah. that. That's the first mistake we've made in nearly six years of doing this podcast. Damn I don't it. think it's. No, I don't think it's the time to start making mistakes. I'm starting to think. You know, oh God, no, <laughs> stop, stop. No, you're saying episode 300 is on the horizon. I better watch my P's and Q's. I think that's probably where the pressure got to me on the hello. I was thinking if I if I start making mistakes, I don't deliver. Then you might sack me before we get there, and then I'll. Sure we- I'd be one in, short. I mean, in the interest of episode 300, you know how we like a spectacular. We could just do episode 300 at the side of the Thames with an audience. We could do it. Pab, no. can, we, okay. can we use your party boat? Do you reckon we could get a barge? Mm, That's what, not... Pab's party boat. <laughs> I'm not sure. It might already be booked. Well, I, 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 I want to do episode 300 on the Thames into a megaphone or on top of the London Eye. Oh, mm. yeah, the London Eye would be good. If we could book the London Eye and just sit on it doing an episode as we went round. Yeah, we'll do the champagne one so we get the thing to ourselves. It'd be How a short episode. That? I don't know, quite expensive. It, take, you, you know, it takes about 40 minutes to get round the London Eye, doesn't it? That'd yeah, be the longest like episode we've done for years. Is that, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it will be if we just talk about games. We could ask yeah. them to do a double spin and we'll invite celebrities. Yeah. In Again, keep going round. <laughs> Why not? Could we claim squatters' rights if we got on it and just rolled out our... Um, I think once you sleep on it, it becomes bags, legally yeah. your home. So yeah. if we just go on it, curl up in the corner and make sure we're asleep before we land, there's not a lot we can do about that. Just handcuff ourselves to it and say we won't get off unless we rotate five times. Exactly, unless we get to finish this podcast. <laughs> Don't you know who we are? We're off the internet or from the internet or whatever the phrase was. <laughs> and the name of the podcast that came off the back of it. <laughs> it's all too confusing. Yeah. How are we all on this fine week, anyway? Splendid. Um, yeah, Hi. not too bad. Marvelous. Too bad. I'm uh, I'm desperately injured, and thanks for asking, by the way, everybody. I'm You're really badly injured. injured, and I've basically narrowly escaped death over the last twenty four <laughs> hours or so. No, you. That's how you roll? What did you do? Um, I tried to tidy up a bit. And ended up with two quite serious injuries. Um, oh, you I, cut yourself, didn't you? I, ended ended up, bin. I, I cut my... Uh, yeah, it was both of them were emptying the bins injuries. Um, I, the first one, I was emptying the bin and ended up scr- scratching my arm on a rusty nail yeah. um, and c- immediately contracting tetanus because oh. I, I haven't had a jab since 1997. Or I hadn't. I've had one today now because I had an emergency one. Because I okay. was dying of tetanus. It's pronounced Tetris. <laughs> yeah, I was dying of Tetris. <laughs> and then a few minutes later, because obviously the Tetris was getting me down, I wasn't concentrating. So I just ended up, long story short, ended up with a piece of glass stuck in my thumb, which I had to go to the doctors about today so they could poke around in my thumb with a needle and basically scrape out a chunk of glass that was wedged in my thumb whilst oh. going... Oh, yeah, this is starting to react to having a foreign body in it, isn't it? It's all red and swollen. Yeah, it really hurts. By the way, the needle in there is making it much better. Oh, Please scratch right. around some more. Oh. I once shut a wooden gate and somehow got a splinter wedged under my thumbnail. Oh. It's exactly the same scenario. They were just jabbing at it with a needle. And it's make, it's giving me flashbacks thinking about your glass one. It was, oh, it was horrific. And then so, to yeah. round it all off, they put some iodine, iodine on it. Iodine. Oh, good. The stinging stuff. Yeah. That's so, how you know uh, it works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's been working all day, if that's how you know it works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that stops anything from ever growing there except skin, though. Yeah, well, she said it will draw out any more glass that might still be in there. I don't think that's true. I think she was. She just no, knew why no, I was you're, quite upset. Yeah, your body will push out <laughs> the glass as it goes, yeah. I suppose. I was a little bit upset that when I had my Tetris jab, they didn't give me a sugar cube. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get sugar cubes when you go and have jabs. What? You're not a horse. <laughs> are you yeah, telling me you like, are so much younger than me that you didn't used to get sugar cubes when you went to go and get jabs? No, no, no. not at all. No. Back when I was like three or four, or whenever it is you have the MMR, you'd get some of it on a sugar cube. Anna, did you ever have a sugar cube? No. 
Yeah. She's not a horse, Kevin. <laughs> I must have been. <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure you weren't being treated for foot and mouth or something? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, remember, I I am in Lincolnshire, so there's every chance a vet treated you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There might not have been doctors here at the time. It might have been a vet. But uh, I, who's your vet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you right, listener folk. I need someone to confess. Someone old. It's the mature game of podcast. You're all old folk. I need one of you to confirm that you did used to get drugs on sugar cubes. Did they brush your the coat 80s. down afterwards? And did they what now? You brush your coat afterwards, and no, they gave me a sticker. Put some new metal shoes on your feet. Braided his hair. <laughs> no, I'm confused. What about Anna? I'm playing Fortnite right now. Right. Well done. I don't mm. have plus. It's free. Oh, is it? I think I don't think you need for. for, for you plus do on Xbox, Pab. Well, that's because Microsoft like to do that to you. But I don't well, think you need to. Own... When my wife finds out she's paying for me to have plus now, she's not going to be happy. <laughs> playing it right now i think that's right i might be completely wrong but if you're playing it without plus then i think that is the case speaking of Fortnite, my daughter came in the other day have you, have you heard of Fortnite? and i was like why yes and she was like everyone in my class is playing it so i got to put it on during the day i don't get yeah, to play games during the day she's not well tall. everyone in her class full of nine-year-olds is, uh, living it up um, mm. She actually, by the time it had loaded, she'd left the room, and I just sat there with my son <laughs> playing it, um, which wasn't that long. She asked me; she wanted to see it, and then she disappeared, and I just sat playing it on my own. Well, I died probably, really probably quick. Had to go away for a smoke. Do you know there's new probably. places in here? <laughs> there's what? There's like built. There's like secret la- layers. layers. Oh yeah, it's all new stuff in here. I mean, we played it. What was it last week or the week before? Last week. week. Was it last week? And you said you wanted to play it simply because you got told that the the comet was coming or whatever yes. it was. Yeah, it was the day after. Yeah, well, I knew it was coming. Yeah. We just timed it wrong. Yeah, we did. But, um, yeah. I've been watching some videos. Anna keeps putting videos on made by a moose. And um, they're, they're very good. Oh, I've killed someone! Um, have any of you got the uh, single-player mode? No. no. Yeah. Because... Um, I was considering getting it because it's 35 quid and I've got 30 quid in my account from that old, uh, uh, what's it called? Unreal Engine thing. Someone? So I'm thinking for a fiver, I might as well get it. But um, if no but one's got at it. At some least... point this year, they're supposed to be making it free to play. So Yeah. Okay. That's a good point. I knew that as well. So uh, when, I guess, is the question. Well, yeah. But, I mean, I don't know, but it's not really single player. It is, yeah. but it isn't. It's, it it's, is. It's hard like mode. It's, it's, it's hard mode. I sat and watched um, the people that killed me yesterday. I sat and watched. Like the first time I didn't, I went straight back in. But um, I felt really mean. Actually, I was the person who killed me. I was watching them play, and for the first ten minutes, my son thought it was still me playing. He's like, "You're really good at this." <laughs> and I was like, "I'm not playing. The controller's not even in my hand." And the look he gave me was a bit like. You've ruined me. Like, nothing is real. <laughs> I don't believe anything you'll ever say again. Um, but then, bless him, I said, no, I'm not. I'm rubbish at this. And he was like, no, you're not. And I thought, yeah, you don't know the half of it, but it's very reassuring. But um, I, watching the people that eventually won it play, we're never going to be good at this game. And Oh, I don't know. I don't none, know. None of them had many kills either, though. No, I think the person I mean, who won it had only got four kills, but he, he seemed to press a button and a whole fort built underneath him in one go. Yeah, there's yeah. an insta fort, like, yeah. uh, what item you can pick up, it just builds an entire fort for you immediately. Oh, is that an item? So it's yeah, not it's something he might have unlocked no, somewhere along no, the way. He's found no, that. Okay. Yeah, so, we were playing with him the other night when we were waiting for you. Yeah, I mean, mm. I, I played it again earlier in the, this week and I came the closest to winning. I was, oh, it was. I was, what is it, on solo, so there's three people left, me and two other guys. A guy runs around the corner straight into me. He must have been low low health because I just shot him once and he died. Hmm. And then the other guy comes through the house. I was hiding under a window, and he comes through the house and shoots through the window, but it, but he was like <coughs> it was a full-on shooting battle between the two of us. It wasn't like a guy in the fort shooting me from the sky. It was on the ground, just one-on-one, and it was down to just who, who had the most health. Um and it was that was the closest I've come to actually winning. Because uh, most of the time, when we come second, I'm just trying to trying to stay alive until they find me. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, this was a proper battle that I, I 
I got to three and I beat that guy down to just me and the other guy and I thought this could happen. Mm-hmm. And I was still searching for that victory. That'll come. You need my help, really. You're not going to do it on your own. I need a distraction, you're exactly. In fantasy world if you think you're I need a decoy. It. I, I found that everybody that killed... So I, the person who killed me ran around for a bit and then died. Then the person who killed him died. And it was like everyone we ended up watching died. <laughs> and then luckily, final two, the person we were watching won. I felt like I was supporting him at that point because my blood was uh, in that in that win streak or whatever. Um, but watching it, I thought I'm, I'm never, ever going to be in the final two on one of these unless I just hired. And even at that point, the circle gets so small, doesn't it, that you don't really got a chance. Mm. Yeah, is it always the same five games? Is it always the same circle, or does it vary where no, it ends up? It rotates around the, around the map randomly. Mm. So. Mm. <laughs> Splendid. So uh, I think we probably need another another fortnight session over the next eight days. Definitely, we could do that. Yeah, marvelous. Um, another thing that I'm going to try and twist Pab's arm into playing with me is okay. the new multiplayer mode on Stardew Valley. Right, it's okay. Snap, have you seen it? There's multiplayer in it now. I mean, what are you playing it on? Well, I can play it on PC to play the multiplayer because that's where it is. I've signed up for the beta and everything. Right. I'm, I'm send, ready, me, I'm send, ready me, send me the link and I might be interested. Yeah, because I'm, I'm still very much enjoying Stardew Valley. I've nearly yeah. made it to the end of fall in year one now. Oh, wow. I, ha- okay. I have my little 45 minutes to an hour every evening while Andy's playing Burnout Paradise. Basically, Anna puts me and Andy on our games <laughs> and then goes and has some peace. <laughs> so we sit there in the living room playing our games by ourselves. And Anna, I don't know what she's doing. She could be going out to meet a fancy man for all I know, but she's, she just leaves us alone and then tells us when it's bath time. Okay. Not both of uh, them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, uh, yeah. and I uh, and I use that to play and Stardew Valley. Yeah, very splendid. I have taken your advice from two weeks ago, Pab. I've been courting my face off. I'm, I've got oh, a whole, right, okay. I've got a whole garden section set up for growing sunflowers because the ladies like a sunflower. Okay, and um, who, who, who's, who's taking your interest at, at the, the moment? Minute, Emily is my first girlfriend. Okay, uh, okay. but Abigail is nearly there as well. Um, okay, yeah, no, Abigail. Yeah. I've got I've got Haley and Leah on the back burner as well, and Penny is a dark horse. But apparently, oh, you can have as many girlfriends as you want until you decide to marry one of them. So I I'm think just so, yeah. I'm playing the field a little bit. I think you can you can. Mm. Emily's a bit weird. She's a very okay. weird girl. She which one's the, which one's the uh, the goth? That's Emily. That's Emily. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. a bit weird. I like Abigail's good because Abigail likes sword fighting. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you heard what you're saying. Yeah, I'm picking. I'm trying to find a wife. To, I need someone to water these plants for me. Because goodness me, is that a grind? And these sprinklers are worthless. They're not I, good yet. I, I mined for hours to get the materials <laughs> to make a sprinkler. I was so proud when I got my first sprinkler, Brilliant. and it waters four plants. Yep. Four yep. plants. You need to get yeah, the upgrades in, don't you? To get I upgrades. haven't got the materials for the upgrades yet. I haven't got time to go mining to get them because I'm too busy watering blooming plants. I need to take a wife so that she can water the plants while I go out digging holes. Yeah, and you, and you, get, you get into fall, you're saying. So at some, point, at some point you're going to have the, the water plants and what have you. And... Well, my plan at the moment is bare minimum of farming because there's only one winter plant I've been reading ahead. Right. Um, just just do one crop of that just so I've got it for my for my community centre. Um, but my plan for winter is to spend most of my time down in the mines. I've got loads of cash sat there that I've built up over the summer and fall. So I've got like eighty thousand gold. So I'm okay. just gonna I'm just gonna do the do one harvest of the stuff that I need to do the community centre and any quests that are to do with the, the, the winter plants. But then I'm just down in that old morning, noon and night whacking stuff with a big pointy stick. I am going to get these upgraded sprinklers. Yeah, you need them. Oh, these people are playing Mm. in me. I was going to say, have you met The Undertaker yet? (laughs) No. You you must have met The Undertaker. The wizard fella. Oh, the wizard, yeah. Is he, he, looks like the under- he looks like the Undertaker, doesn't he? I don't know, I'm playing it on a Switch. No one really looks like anything. They look at him, just, look him. Next, time, next, time you, next time you meet him, you'll, you'll look at him and go, hmm. What's I've only like? met him once, I don't really know what he was up to. I think he'll come into it a bit later on. I've seen a really eerie note on a gravestone that freaked me out a little bit just before we came on that was from my granddad saying something cryptic like, but anyway, isn't he dead? Saying something like the third 
year of blah, 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 I shall return. What, you're going to be a zombie, granddad? Do you want your farm back? What am I doing cutting down all these trees if you're coming back for your farm? Yeah, you want to see profits. Well, <laughs> you're out. out. I'll, have, I'll have found a <laughs> couple of wives and fled to Mexico by then with all my pumpkin money. You've got pumpkin money, have you? Okay. I've got, uh, Pab, I've got pumpkin money coming out of the years. This last crop of cranberries and pumpkins. This, this is the one. This time, this time next week, we'll be, we'll, we'll be, we'll be in six figures, Pab. Okay. And how's your uh, pumpkins? How's your fishing game? How's that getting on? For losers. Fishing is, it, is for losers. Up to fishing. Right. No, okay. I mean, what's the point of fishing? I don't know. I just apart from it. catching yeah, fish. Fishing. You were obsessed with fishing at one point. Not in that game. Not I love fishing, love games, but in that game, hate She's careful about what fishing she likes and what fishing she doesn't like. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. uh, Yeah, this this the fishing in it is it's a horrible mechanic, especially with a controller. I don't know what it's like on a PC, but on the controller, it's such a clunky mechanic as well that it's just not a satisfying fish gathering experience. I'd rather it was just uh, I'll go to the supermarket and buy fish if I need a fish. (laughs) Fair enough. So, I, I, so far, there hasn't been an occasion where I've needed a fish. Okay, but you are willing to go into the Georgia Mart to get the yeah. That's where I get my pop fish. when I go down in the mines. Get my cheek. See, not, you see, not again to chop in there, even though they're trying to take over you. you, you nah, it's fine. I'm not going to have a membership. I'm not selling out. But I, it's cheap pop. I have to get my cheap pop to, to right, keep okay, going for enough. when the monsters attack me. Fair enough. Fair enough. See, it's all fought through. I know. All I know through. Which one. Exactly. Um, I do have more Switch games that I've been playing. Cause okay, I, have cool. I mentioned I really like the Switch, by the way? That I no. got, Hannah. <laughs> yeah, I it's, it. it's a wonderful piece of equipment. Um, I've been playing Oxenfree, mm-hmm. which is a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I've got it. I've not played it, but yeah, I do. I've only played the but first it's... hour or so of it. It was I did a, I did a first look video on my channel, and uh, the general consensus was nobody cares because no one really watched it at all. Um, but it's a, it's a weird little game where it's it's two D adventure type game where you're yeah. on a where you're on an island or you go into an a bunch of students go into an island to get drunk but you explore the island you go in a cave something weird happens and then story ensues but it takes so long to get going it was it was probably a good forty minutes into the game before it was anything other than just Shall I have a beer now? No, I shan't have a beer. Perhaps I'll have a beer. Is it time for a beer? Let's sit over there and listen to music and talk nonsense. And then eventually we ended up in a cave. So, and then it got good. But it was it's a bit of a slow starter. But it was yeah. down to like three quid on the store. I've my new my new routine at the start of at the start of switch time in the evenings is I go on the store and have a look at the latest offers. See, I'm learning right. that. That's yeah, how I pick good, the good. box and free eighty percent off. Yeah, that's um, good. Then I check the charts to see what's going on on there. Make sure football manager's still number one. It is, and uh, and then I get started on Stardew Valley and disregard every other game that I've got. But I've got Don't Starve as well, and I shouldn't have bought it because I haven't touched it because I don't need to now. I've got Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley's better. You should have told me about Stardew Valley before, Pam. Yeah, imagine, I, I, imagine that, uh, that I haven't told you this. Wow. Well, I already I own it on the PC. For, I don't remember buying it, but it's there. I went right. to buy it the other day so I could play multiplayer, and it was already in my library. So I just oh, downloaded it and signed up for the beta. Yeah, you have, to, uh, you have to send me a link to this beta thing or whatever, and then I'll, I will sign up to it, and then I'll, I will play it with you. And then you can have a little cabin in my garden, and we can whack trees together. Oh, great. I look forward to having a cabin. Yeah, well, you don't <laughs> have the main house, Pav. I'm bigger than you. Fair enough. That's a good point. Exactly. Um, I think that that's it, apart from my normal football manager goodness um i'd already played this grand life last time we did a podcast hadn't i i think yeah yeah so there's nothing yeah, more to yeah. say about that really um i will now sit and contemplate my next moves in stardew valley i assume you lot have played something and can talk now <sighs> yeah okay um i finally started playing god of war yeah uh, yes too no, I, I finished that one. Uh, no, uh, PS4, God of War. Um, finally, the the store that I got it from decided to send me another copy. So, finally yeah, got it. Copies. No, I didn't get one. Well, Number one. Neighbors have got one, and you've got one. Someone's got one somewhere. So yeah, this feels like a little bit of a scam that you and your neighbors have got on, Pab. 
I wish it was. It's not that simple. I don't know. It's mm. somewhere out in the ether. But another one, they they sent me another one out pretty sharpish. I got it on the Wednesday or the Thursday after the last show. Um, so I played, I want to say I played about five hours. Is that it? I'll be honest, you know, I, played, I played the first two hours and I wasn't sure about it. I wasn't liking it. Really? It's, it's nice enough and the stuff... The, the story is what I was there for. The story is the pull in this game for me. Yeah. And when it starts, it, and it and it, it was, the, the story bit elements of it are good. And that's what I want from it. I want a game like The Last of Us or yeah. a Telltale game or, so, or something that's got a story to it that hasn't. And then it starts giving me skill points and yeah. abilities. And it's, the fighting, the combat in it is baffling. It, the combat is like a fighting game. The amount of moves <laughs> and abilities you can do is just overwhelming. Oh, I don't because I, I just don't remember half of them. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I forgot that I had the 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 health boost thing that you can do every. Uh, you know, after a while, you just hold the L one button and press circle, and it gives me a health gives me health back or something. Yeah. I didn't even. I didn't even. I forgot I had that one. Oh, um, okay. It's it's. It, I mean, like I say, I played. I did play that for about two hours when I got it. And then I was like, I'm just not sure about it. The camera is really tight up against you, isn't it? Right behind yeah. you, over your shoulder. And that makes battling a real nightmare for me. When you get in these close quarters and you can't see behind you, it's a real pain in the backside. You just um, have to look out for the markers, though. Yeah, I know. But then, I, like, got, I can never remember the buttons or half no. the time. That's the thing. It's too many button combos and stuff like that. And then the dodge and then there's roll and the shield and then there's... Count, the thing um, is, oh. like the the early game is a bit challenging, but after you've got your skills up, it doesn't really matter. Well, here's the <laughs> thing, you see. Happened. So I've played, I've played another few hours, not last night, the night before, mm-hmm. something like that, and I found myself getting, I found myself going, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, I see where I see the how people liking this now. It's getting its hooks in me. Yeah, I started to get powerful. I started, went, right, okay. I listened to some podcasts, and some podcasts went, right. First thing you do, boy, as much power as you can give him. Uh-huh. He's useful. He's useful. He is useful, he, yeah. He, he's a useful, because before, I know he's just a guy just throwing sticks at people, basically. <laughs> Nothing's happening. And he's going to only throw two sticks at a time before for 20 seconds. Yeah. Useless. Start giving him some power and some abilities. Oh, starts wrecking shot. Invaluable, yeah. Yeah. He's a big distraction, so you can get around and start picking up health and what have you and dealing with other things. Um, so what did I do? I is it? I wanted to say Niflheim. Yeah. Is that a place? I went there with the Dark Elves and Light Elves. Is that Niflheim? Yeah, I think did so. Did that one. So that's, so that's the big area that I, I did. Yeah. Um, and um, I went back to Midgard, and I think that's where I stopped. Oh. Okay. You, you find yourself and just keep playing it because it's one. It's no. There's no real loading in it, is there? Particularly? No, no. It's just no, like no, one no. ongoing game, and there are loads in it where he's like opening doors nice and slow and casually, or transporting yeah. something like that. And then, or there, there are reasons you climb through tiny, tiny camp like corridors and like little holes and crevices yeah. slowly because you're effectively loading, but it masks it well. Yep, definitely. So you never find it easy. I find myself like eleven o'clock at night just going. I'm just so I was going to bed at ten. I don't know what's going on. I'm still playing. Yeah. You can't find it. You can't find a nice stopping point. It no. just, like, just like keeps going and going and going. I was like, I'll just get out of Niflheim. And I was like, okay, I'm out of Niflheim. I'm through. I'm back into the um, to the portal room. And uh, oh, I'm back in Midgard. And I was like, I, I've got to stop at some point. And then like the the oh, it, it's getting its hook to me. Let's put it that way. And I I kind of want to see where it's going. I, I don't like. Like I say, I want the game to be to be more like simplified. I don't want the the loot items. I don't want the skill oh, really? trees. I like that. I just don't. I just want it to get on with the story and let me fight it. I don't want it to go. Oh, here's you. You put, equip this one, you get some more things. You can upgrade that one, you get more strength and then more cooldown and more runic or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I just I just want me to carry on playing the game, fighting stuff. And I don't want to be fighting higher enemies or lower enemies. I just want enemies, enemies to be the same level as they are when they started the game. <laughs> yeah. And I'm the same level as they started the game. And just tell me the story and I'll fight in between the story the story elements. And that's it. That's all I want. Because that's, that's kind of what I expected. I don't know why I was kind of expecting that. But there's so much more of a game there. 
and it might grow in the more purple I get, and it more get, get might get in, it's hooked into me with what items you get and stuff like that. But like I say, I just want the story. The story's pretty cool at the minute. Mm-hmm. I like all the uh, Norse mythology stuff going on with yeah, it. That's so cool. I, I endeavour to complete it. Whether I will or not, I don't know because it's people are saying like like twenty five to thirty five hours or something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. all about twenty hours. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's a real, real slog of a game compared to like the other games which were eight to ten hours. <laughs> yeah, the old one. So it's a real big big jump up from it, and it's like saying that's probably why it's got such like deep like game mechanics in it because it's got it's got a lot of content in there um so i mean i will i'll continue to play it like i say i'm hopefully i'll finish it it feels like i should finish it because it seems like one of them games that you should you need to play on if you've got a playstation it's one of them games that you kind of have to play like like the last of us like um i don't know all the like you know the big Uncharted and stuff like that. You need need to play yeah, these games. Yeah, them games need the, to be played. The, really. Like the AAA like flagship games for the console. Um, so yeah, that's um, I've played I've played some God of War. Um, <laughs> finally, I've I've also been playing um, Vermintide Two. Have you played Have you played any Vermintide at all? It's not that like kind of dot dot top down. No, it's kind it's of? like it's like it's no. kind of like Left 4 Dead, but in the oh, Warhammer no. universe, it's like Left 4 Dead, um, but you're all like you're all like as a mage, as a dwarf, as a as like a gunner guy, and as a another as a elven like <laughs> arrow person. I don't know, and they it is very much a Left 4 Dead style game where you have a level and you have the four characters and you've got to wade your way through these rat people which are all like part of the Warhammer universe. Vermintide is like a, a offshoot of the Warhammer stuff or whatever it is and it's it's surprisingly good. It's surprisingly good. Um, so you play it with four people. Um, I've only been playing it with friends so I don't know what the actual game's like when you play it with randoms but um, you... You have like, like I say, a warrior, a mage, and a, a, whatever, a dwarf, or what have you. And you go out to just get to the end of the level like you would in Left 4 Dead. But there's in Left 4 Dead, there is so much. A lot of that game is guns. I I can't even remember. Now you did have you did have melee weapons in in Left 4 Dead, didn't you? Yeah, Fairly certain. <clears throat> yeah, that was a yeah. thing, wasn't it? But I I found it primarily guns. I thought in Left 4 Dead, but this gnomes is as well. Yes, gnomes. Um, so I've primarily been it, it, the most of it is primarily like swords, swords and like spears and stuff. Like that. And I've got a bow. I was the the elf character who has a bow, but it's just you've only got a certain amount of ammo. Uh, ammo's not like just everywhere. So, so you find yourself you're in in the melee of it quite a lot. You're up up against them, and there's hordes of these these rat people just coming at you for miles. And obviously they've got they've got all the variants of like the the one that drags you away, the the assassin who just like grabs you, and starts attacking you. And I think they've got a boomer in there or a wizard or something like that. And they've got all the equivalents of like, what you'd have in Left 4 Dead. Um, but at the end of it, you have you complete the level and then you get chests, you get loot chests. So it adds something more to what the Left Dead sort of game is. It gives you weapons and progression. The sort of thing that I didn't want God of War is giving me in Vermintide. But I like that because it's giving you new items to play with, new skills to play with in the game. Um, whereas, like I say, Left 4 Dead, just, you just play the same map over and over again, don't you? You don't really evolve your character sort of thing. But you, where you are in this... Um, so yeah, it's interesting because then you you gain abilities, you gain different different types of characters. It's like I think mean, there's five different character classes you can have, and then there's like three different offshoots of each character. So you can have like you can chop and change between them and different abilities you get give given from them. Um, and I'm quite I'm enjoying it. It's it's kind of a fun multiplayer game. It's it's Left 4 Dead again. Like it's it's a damn sight harder than Left 4 Dead. I don't remember Left 4 Dead being this difficult, but. It's rewarding in that sense when you do beat something that difficult. Um, and I do find that 
it's it's just something to put on every now and again. You know, it's it's not it's not as like engaging. I don't need the story. There is a vague story going on with it. I don't need to engage with it. Like I can just have a chat with my mates and just go around just chopping heads off of little rats and weird monsters and stuff like that and completing the objectives. And it's fun. It's just a good fun game. Um, what else have I played? What else have I played? Okay, the last game I've played. Um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Ooh. You've played this, haven't you, Sheepdog? Yeah, I got that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's all right. I've got it on the Switch. Um, I wanted to see what it was like on the Switch, and it seems like pretty that same this exact <laughs> same game as the, the ones on the con- on the console. It's not it's not like downgraded or anything because it's on the Switch or anything like that. Because I know some of the other ones, like the DS one, was always like not the the one that was on the console sort of thing. If you know what I mean. Um, but it is it's like for like from what I could, from what I've seen, uh, it plays fine. Looks pretty good actually. To be fair, it looks. It's not going to look like the. Like, I imagine it's 4K, however it is on the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. Um, but you don't need that. You don't need that for a Lego game. It's cool. Um, and so far, I've played probably about an hour or two of it. I quite like it. It's a Lego game. I thought it's quite a nice game to have on the Switch, just to be to lay in bed and just play a simply like a simpler game to play. It's not that complex. It's got, it's got some nifty story to it, and it's it's cool. And with all the Marvel hype going around in a minute, I kind of just fell into it and just was like, oh, that's a good price. And uh, I've been playing some more Mar- Lego Marvel. And Spider Gwen's in it, so I had to buy it, didn't I? So... Do you know um, when I got the poster for my kids at whatever event we got it from? I kept thinking, like, yes. I need to tell Pab she's in it. And <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I knew she was in it because she's on like the front. She's on like all the advertising for it, isn't she? I was so... trying to explain to my son that it's not Spider Man, it's Spider Gwen, and who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man doesn't just wear white and pink now. Yeah, yeah, it's. it's a... Or blue. It's a very confusing poster for a kid who doesn't really understand. Yeah, I thought that. I was like, surprised that there's like, I imagine there would be more Guardians of the Galaxy stuff on it, but it starts with the Guardians, and in the poster it has got it does. Uh, yeah, you're two, right. two or three of them on there. Um, yeah. It's all kind of newer. I can't think of the right way to put it. It's not, they're not newer, really, are they? They're not, they're not the B squad, either. They're just the what they um, wave two, perhaps? Like the Avengers, the original Iron Man and that are all kind of wave one, aren't they? Yeah, phase phase one and two, yeah. yeah, yeah. Phase, so phase this is the phase two gang, I suppose, is on the poster yeah. and in the game. I've so, not yeah. given that the time it deserves, actually. I love the first one. I need to go back and do yeah, that. It, it um, seems really, really kind of cool, like what they're doing with it. And, and they've, I would they've play also... well, my kids are just irritating to play games with because yeah. they're not as good I, as me. Uh, I think I, I was like, oh, hello, they've got they've got Infinity War DLC. And I was like, oh, I might want to get that then. Hmm. So, yeah, I might look into that as well at some point. But, yeah. Should we segue get that Infinity War phrased onto the next segment? No, because Anna's, Anna's not... Uh... Oh, I thought you said she hadn't played anything. Sorry. I have not played anything for two weeks. <laughs> I have been doing exams and assignments. Having a cold by the sounds of you at the moment. Are you all right? I, I have a cold. Yeah, bless you. So I've played nothing. I haven't got time. I've finished uni, but I've still got an assignment to do. And that's going very badly. And I have five exams to do. So I'm not going to be playing games for a while. So at the moment, I have... Have well, you considered like, solving a real world crime so they just have to give you the degree? No. Because I think if we stage a murder and you solve <laughs> it, that you'll be uh, the hero. This semester's gone fine. Like I got good grades in my exam the other week. Um, Does um, year one count for you? I think I asked this before. No, it doesn't count. But they want to see where you're at, don't they? Yeah, but I'm glad I did better than I did last semester when I yeah. failed. So, obviously, what I what I did for this semester has smashed last semester's well done head in basically. Good. It's just <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing last semester. I was like, "What's happening?" But no, it's fine. sobering up definitely helped, didn't it? Sobering up. <laughs> yeah, you probably I don't, don't remember. <laughs> Let's continue. She's obviously forgotten her, 
a bender that she went on. Okay. So I believe we've all seen a rather famous motion picture. No, but anyway. Yeah. yeah. I've not it seen anything. Kind of... You nearly missed it, or didn't you? Yeah. That was <laughs> yes. <my fault. laughs> she messed around with it. That was now. not my fault at all. It was you with your stupid. Oh yeah, we'll go go at eight and then book it for seven. Who does that? Chapman. I kind of forgot what time we were seeing it, but luckily it was halfway around. I thought we were at six, so it was half six. Um, made my so nervous. You're doing a great impression of a robot. Yeah, I think everyone's breaking up. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to do. Pab, fix it. Is that any better? That's yeah, much better. There you go. What were you doing? That broken it. <laughs> Nothing. I just changed it. Changed servers. Yeah. Uh, okay. Am I right to continue? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Um. So I don't know why, but I made myself so nervous about going to see this film that. Hi. Well, <laughs> in the build-up, so I was at work. I finished work at five, and I was driving to meet my wife at the cinema. And between about four and five past five, I went to the loo about a hundred times. And then on my way to the cinema, I decided it'd make much more sense if I drove home, met my wife, got in the car and drove back than if we just met at the cinema because I wanted to talk to her about it on the way back. So that was just an (laughs) unnecessary faff where I was being completely faffy. Got in, went toilet about four times and then we left, got to the cinema Brought a massive drink, inexplicably. Went to the toilet twice more. Went into the cinema. Went to the toilet twice while the adverts were on, and then sat there for an hour and a half, just really needing the loo and thinking, "What is going on? Why am I doing this to myself?" And then, and I'm, I'm, this isn't a spoiler. We know the characters that are in the film, but Gamora was talking to Thanos, and they spoke for probably more than ten seconds, and I thought. They're going to have a boring conversation. I'm running to the loo. So I legged it out the cinema, ran to the gents, went to the loo, came back in, sat down. They were still talking. I looked into my wife and said, what's happened? She said, absolutely nothing. And then I spent the rest of the film feeling like a king. Like, because I knew I'd cheated the film, um, it fixed whatever weird anxiety I was having about missing important bits. But I blew that well out of report. I don't know what it was. I was so nervous about cocking it up. I was so hyped oh, yeah. up that I yeah. just lost all control. Um, but it, it lived up to the hype. I think it was worth the amount of anger and damage and anxiety I had to endure to see it spoiler-free and see it all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I had one more embarrassing moment in the film. Okay. I think I mentioned this to you. I don't think I've spoken to you guys about it. But um, I was sat there and... People entered kind of the scene and I looked into my wife after about five minutes and said, I don't know who that man is. Captain America. Yes, yeah, she sort of looked at me, looked at the screen and was just like, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? And she went, it's Captain America. And I was just like, what? I asked her the same thing. <laughs> I'm no so glad. Yeah, but I feel like you're allowed to ask. I'm not allowed to ask. I should know who Captain America is. I know Um, who he is, but I couldn't couldn't have picked him out. Somebody else said to me they thought he was Hawkeye's replacement. (laughs) 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 Do people not look at faces? Yeah. He had a different... He had a beard. He was a bit chubbier as well, do you not think? Not that I'm... He looked like Captain America. No. Older, I think, perhaps. Maybe he not is older. Yet. They all yeah. looked older. Yeah. He wasn't wearing his suit either, so... That's <laughs> why you didn't recognise him. You only know him by his suit. I what? felt a little bit like, how can they really call him Captain America? Well, he wasn't Captain America, was he? He was Steve, what's his name? Rogers? Yeah. Um, he didn't have his shield or his suit. I was like, you're... You had a suit on. You had a suit on. He had a, a black jacket and trousers combo. It, on. It, I'm telling you now, it is black on black suit. Yeah, but where's his big old star shield? That well, you he's know... been dis- he's been like kicked out of it, hasn't he? He's been kicked out of like the Avengers. Yeah, but in one of the older films, when it does all the flash forwards and they see uh, when uh, Stark sees Thanos winning, he's got the, the broken in half shield sticking out the ground, doesn't he? I mean, that whole flash forward doesn't even work because Thor's hammer was there. Mon- 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 I can't even say it, um, was there as well. And that's smashed. So 
the heck's going on? I don't know. I don't know, Pete Dog. I can't really uh, help you with that one because. Can't. We aren't really allowed to do any spoilers of this, are we? Because uh, Thanos demands our silence. Exactly. Have you seen that hashtag? I have. I like that. Oh, it's irritating me no end. Let's just say that. I'll tell you what, though. i tell you what. I think it's criminal, the amount of memes going around at the minute, online, referencing to the end of... Mm. End of it, even though we're not referencing... Then, all those people saying out-of-context spoilers... That annoys me because most of them have been really obvious. Um, I mean, I'm hoping that if anyone's that touchy about it, they're probably listening who hasn't skipped ahead. Don't be annoyed. We haven't said anything. This film's completely greenfield for you. Yeah. The bit with Batman was good, though. Mm. (laughs) Yeah, I was just about to say that. I was finishing my gin, but the Batman cameo was awesome. Um, Right, Batman? Anna. Shh. But if they're different universes, don't sit there and mess with me and tell me that there's a Batman that I missed. Be fair, you're right. That, that there is. is there is actually an Easter egg that references um, Adam West Batman in the film, and uh, Tobias Funke from Arrested oh, Development is also that. in the yeah. film. Um, yeah. So Kev wasn't actually being uh, a silly goose when he said that Batman was referenced in the film. There you go, T. Mm. Obviously, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, you sound right here. I need to watch it again. Have you, any of you watched it a second time? Anna? I've no. never watched any film no. a second time. No. Why would I, I watch it again? Look. I've seen what happens. Yeah, exactly. You're mental. Do you ever watch football blue, matches a second time? You do? <laughs> <laughs> I know you do that. Um, I mean, I part of the reason I want to sit... And um, watch it again is because I was in row B, and really? some of the fight scenes were so quick that my eyes couldn't keep up with the screen because <laughs> it was it was reaching Why my eyes. Why would you sit there quicker than everybody else's? Um, because it was the only seats. They were the two the seats that we rejected, Anna. If you remember <laughs> the six o'clock one, yeah. there was two seats right near the front. Uh, was it on the left hand side of row B? No, no, row A and B were all empty when we looked at it. Ah, well, when we looked, there was just two seats left in the six o'clock show. And we, <laughs> we rejected those seats for being too close and then booked for eight. And then Yummy House moved it. Yummy House did not move it. You moved it, Kevin. Yummy House moved it. We would have never got there for six. House. We barely got there for seven the other day. Oh, so funny. Like literally you... four seconds before it started, we got there. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'd have probably <laughs> been on like Wii number. 78 by that point, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, literally <sighs> four. Like, we walked in. The last, last like, advert was finishing because all we heard was mental health and then it went to black and then the Marvel thing came on the screen. So I had to leave my phone on for the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> no one told you not to. Exactly. Mm. I was talking throughout it. <laughs> I was not giving any... Kevin, I would have took your phone off you and threw it if you had done that. Well, I didn't turn it off. <laughs> Who's going to phone you? I'm with you. Nobody else phones you. Sheepdog's taken to texting me, apparently. About three, yeah, quarters, does now. about three quarters of the way through the film, I got a, a little tweet from Pab saying, uh, you're all ready for the podcast. And I was like, I'm in the cinema, Pab. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually didn't think you'd be out. I thought you'd have been out by that point. I, I was really confused because I remember us talking about it, but I don't think I ever actually said to you, I am definitely going to the cinema. But I was sat there thinking, I'm pretty sure I told him. Um, I thought we were going to go out for dinner, me and my wife afterwards, but we actually just got a pizza and came home. So, yeah. Fair enough. Pizza. I mean, I've seen a lot of people talking about this and going, it was just all right. And I'm like, I'm kind of baffled as to... I've, it, no, I've not seen know. anyone say it was yeah. less than excellent. I've seen a few people go, yeah. Yeah, well, some of the story not. could have been avoided. Um, like, if... if... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, but it I'm just... I'm going to play the Benedict Cumberbatch role now <laughs> that we've all it... seen in the memes all week, presumably every time he does an interview with that, Spider-Man. Well, come on. Like... No. Oh. No. So want to say I, words. I, 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 I can I can speak without spoiling it, so I don't feel like I need to be interrupted. Um, but I felt like at times there were characters who hadn't really been involved at any point earlier on that much, and then they were given these major parts, and you thought, 
<sighs> they could have given yeah. him as much airtime as the other films. Yeah. They could have they could have just got to the same point quicker and spent more time with the people we liked. I get that this was probably their time to shine and that kind of thing, but it was like you could have you could have just twisted theirs off over there, had that happen, and cracked on with someone else that I want to see. Um, there's a I, I don't I don't even want to spoil certain actors and actresses who, were in it, who I didn't know were in it, and then be spoiled. No, no, there was one. Yeah, there was one person who was in it. So, uh, am I all right to talk? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. There was a cameo, a cameo. There was a person who I didn't know was going to be in the film. Um, I'm not even going to spoil that because it was like a surprise, but I felt like their acting was so bad that it took, it was the first moment and the only moment in the film where I was taken aback by the very poor acting ability um, of this person who doesn't normally act that badly, but they acted really badly in this. And, um, well, in my opinion, and, um, Again, that's probably the only moment where I thought, eh, it could have been better. Other than that, I don't think there were any low points at all. It was just, oh, you, you know, I'm surprised you spent that much time on them. I'm surprised that that person still gets jobs after the way they acted in uh, certain like, high-level games that they've been in, your AAA games and things like that, and they were bad in them. So why give them a job in a film this massive? But, um, yeah, other than that, no complaints. And I don't know anyone who's complained about it so far. Mm. I've, I've just heard people say I it's complain. all right, but I mean, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't mind it. The only problem I had it was, like you said, that some some people had. It seemed like there was a lot of characters who didn't give them a lot of this, a lot of time to breathe. You know what I mean? Mm. Sometimes it's, you got so many characters who got it's only got so much screen time to to fill it with. I don't know. I think like the right. Was, other than the the one I'm specifically talking about that I know you understand, the rest I feel like they got the right amount of time that they were mainstream. I guess Captain America didn't get as much time as maybe Warrants being one well, of the I big just, ones. I just kind of wanted to, I wanted it to like breathe a little bit. I think mm. like the, there's a converse, conversation with um, um, Bruce Banner and and um, Natasha, and I wanted that. I wanted to see the conversation there. That was just like an acknowledgement of a hello. So I think I wanted to see I wanted to see more conversational things, but it was just like action, 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 pretty much for a, quite a large large amount of it, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing. I just I just, I just kind of wanted it to settle for a little bit as well. I wonder whether Banner it was Ruffalo. He must have said something two films ago to the Marvel folks. Why have you cast me? What's the point of me being here? And they've just gone, all right, mate. It's going to be like that. We'll write you the best role of your frigging career. There. How would you like them apples? And so he's just had two films in a row where he's been fantastic. And it's like, where where was he years ago? <laughs> Again, they've just CGI'd him out with well, a Hulk. It doesn't help that the that fact that... He used to look like Ed Norton. Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't help that yeah. the, they don't have the, the rights to make a actual oh well yeah character. but it, it does Hulk feel gun. like they've done a lot more so effort now i'm though. saying it can only be in it can only be a bit part character in like avengers or other people's mm. films sort of thing he can't have his own film so i think that's why they kind of sidelined him a lot of it because he is very much only a bit time character realistically yeah but he was awesome and yeah. um i can't wait till next year it's exactly a year till mm. the next film now isn't it yeah, yeah. i'm kind of I'm, I'm realistically how long are we waiting till what avengers what, a, a trailer film? Yeah, the next one's next year. What? Uh, what? The next Avengers is next year. Next May. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the second part of this. Part two of this. Kevin yeah. said that was the full one. See, there no, is they, two. <laughs> you idiot, Kev. No, I said they weren't doing a part one and part two dearly anymore. They called it just Infinity War. But I said to you, we've got in ten months' time, it's Captain Marvel, and then two months later, we've got Avengers Four. You, you did do also- not. You I said, also... Sorry, what is happening? Why is that happening? That's not fair. And then you were, and I was like, I thought there was two. To... That's fine. No, but there was, you told me that that was it. No, but... I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the kind of stupid thing you'd say just to wind her up. <laughs> I don't remember um, this. Now, I do feel like I need to kick you as well, Kev, because I'm pretty sure you told me that um, Captain Marvel was this year and Spider-Man was before the the next film and i was so confused um, <laughs> and well, captain marvel is before avengers 4 but so. spider-man isn't 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you told me the next Spider-Man <laughs> and Black Panther films are out before the next film. So I was so confused. I was doing my vlog. I'd say. I spoke about it on my vlog, and I'm like, I don't know how they're going to do them and um, like, and not reference the fact that other major events are happening. And then I got off the vlog and went and looked online thinking, this all seems a very smashed together schedule. And was like, no, it, it, there isn't even a Black Panther 2 at this point. It hasn't been announced. There's... You know, it's all pretty uh, thin, to be fair, but um, it's literally Captain Marvel, then Avengers 4. Yeah, because they're not announcing the next phase until after Avengers 4, are they? Cause it yeah, requires... 2019, they said. That makes sense, doesn't it? Um, my mates are adamant that regardless of what happens with these films, that uh, I mean, they don't know anything. They're saying certain heroes definitely won't get more films. I'm thinking... Surely it just depends on how many zeros Marvel put after the contract, really. I, I, I know there's probably some of them who there's logical replacements and the actors might move on. Yeah. Um, I would well, be surprised know. if Robert Downey Jr. does any more movies after next year, for example, because you don't want a 60 year old Tony Stark. Yeah, he's and, quite mm, old now, isn't he? I figured he would just literally turn up like he did in Spider Man forever, yeah. really. Why? Why would we want him to do that? That's his project. project yeah, he, because he's just their leader, isn't he? He's just he, he's their Professor X, who will just kind of but be I'd there. I'd rather we just got a new Iron Man who could be Iron Man. Well, they well, probably will. will be. But I reckon he'll still just be about because the moment him, Steve Rogers, you know, Thor, Hulk, I mean, they're not about. Is it but really they've the all Avengers? Got, they've, well, yeah, because they've all got replacements in the comics. There's different people yeah, who can go and be them. This is a thing, isn't it? I was trying to explain to someone how it all just becomes a bit weird and weak because Marvel didn't write. after They did with Marvel, obviously, but then it became, instead of calling us Spider-Girl, they did Spider-Gwen. Instead of Instead of just making a new character, they made Lady Thor, She Hulk, no, she was just Iron Thor. Man, she who's a woman. Wasn't Lady Thor at all? She was Thor. But that's what she's referred to as in like everything online. Only by morons, she's just Thor. But they are all just the female version of the hero that that is well known. Yeah. That's the stupid thing. Um, you know, it's not. I mean, I was just DC have done like Batwoman, um, but they also have just released a load of characters over the years that can be their own thing. This. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it's just going to become, yeah, you, you watch the man character for 10 years, here's the lady version of it for another 10 years, and I don't think it's going to work unless they really pull their finger out, and they're going to have to have continuity with the likes of um, of Stark. Mm. But it doesn't have to be Robert Downey Jr. playing him. You just reboot the whole thing. Time is a funny old thing. That was we another to, thing you... We go to a different Earth, a different universe. It doesn't matter. We we just reset with new new actors playing everyone. I don't think they'd have to have Downey Jr. in every scene of every film. I just mean, like how uh, Nick Fury just comes into a film for five minutes and has a little rant. And, you know, they could just have each of them do that over the years. Just have Thor and Hulk in a film as side characters. Um, there's going to be a point when the Guardians of the Galaxy can't all just be the same little unit that always fly around. They'll probably have a cameo from Thor or something, won't they? Mm. It felt like that's what they were building towards at certain points. Not that specific one, but just a chance for people to appear in each other's films. Um which I hope they do, because, yeah. Kill them all and start again. No! <laughs> it's already not good enough. <laughs> it um, was, oh, oh, no. I want to see the Anna, next stop one. talking. Do I want to see the next one now? We're going to see the next one. It's on so May right. the 3rd, 2019. Could... We'll see Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel before then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I forgot about that. He wasn't there, then, was he? No, he's under house arrest. Explode. I really oh, like yeah. their, yeah. their pre-advert advert where they had all the actors from the uh, Infinity War saying, where the hell was Ant-Man? Like, where was he? Why wasn't he there? You think he'd have turned up, but they're all having this discussion. It's really well, like, edited together. They're all just on the red carpet just going, where the hell was he? Like, you think he'd have joined in. Um, yeah. yeah. It's him, would you? <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> some people were saying in the advert, they were like, maybe he was there all along. And I'm thinking yeah. that would be epic. If, um, if Ant-Man and the Wasp doesn't have this, like, post-credits, him just being there, <laughs> going like, guys, I'm here. <laughs> oh, no, the net, that movie, is that before Avengers then? Is yeah, that yeah, set before? Because they mentioned it's set before Infinity War and it comes out before Avengers 4. They referenced that he's under house what arrest. What if we just that. watch them? Avengers, Avengers 3. Avengers 3, yeah. Uh, okay, there's so many numbers and yeah. so many different characters. So I, I thought this was that. I think that was the 19th movie in the series. <laughs> That's what I mean. I got confused because Civil War wasn't an Avengers film, was it? It was a Captain America film. Not? No, no, it was a Captain America film. Oh, um, and I was like, this is Avengers 4. And then they're talking about Avengers 4 next year. And I was just, why they're not? Uh, they, should have, they should have saved that name and called it Avengers Thor and made Ragnarok that film. I need to watch Ragnarok. That, have you not seen it? No, because we, we watched Strange um, that night. And then Kev decided to put on that, and I thought, like, oh, we've just watched one movie. I've been at uni all week. I'm tired. And I fell asleep after he was on a string going around in a like circle. The first scene, then. Yeah, I fell asleep. So I haven't seen it. So when the film started, I was like, Kevin, what's happening? And where are we? And why are we? Because it, it, at where Ragnarok ends. I think this one starts, doesn't it, Kevin? Mm. It does. Not far off. See, yeah. I feel like I need to watch both again because I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. I've seen 1 twice. I don't know about 2. But at the moment, I feel like Ragnarok's still my favourite. Infinity War's probably second. And then Galaxy 1 and then 2 are probably se- uh, third and fourth for me. Um, I feel like Ragnarok really knocked it out of the park. Like they, they they rewrote their formula, and now we've got that formula for a few films, and then they'll rewrite the formula again. Um, hopefully, at Captain Marvel or something like that, that'd be good. I'm nervous about that one because it's a prequel set in the '90s. It's a very different setup, isn't it? Hmm. Mm. I'm intrigued <laughs> about where it will go. Because Captain Marvel's awesome. So hopefully they do it in an awesome way. And she is awesome. And then she joins the Guardians of the Galaxy for Volume 3. And it just becomes awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, hopefully. At some point, we should do a spoiler podcast. It's probably been done to death by other people. But we should. And then I can have my say. <laughs> oh, why it was so bad. Anyway, let's move on. Any more TV or movies? Because I want to go to bed. Oh, I'm yes, a season yes, yes. and a bit away from the end of Weeds now. That's all I'll say. I'm so You're near the end of season seven. Because we haven't watched yeah. it in months. Yeah. Time refuses. It's busy time. It's busy time. It's busy time, Kevin. Mm. I also watched uh, Lost in Space, which was okay. Um, average I've heard. Yeah. I don't think what else I've watched, but that's the main things. Um <laughs> You right there? Yeah, I um, just pick up. Go on, Pab, what were you going to say? Okay. Um, I watched The Greatest Royal Rumble. Uh-huh. Did you, Pab? I watched it live, my first ever watch live pay per view. And uh, I, wished, I wished I hadn't. It wasn't a pay per view, it was a house show. It was Pab. bizarre. I thought that exact same thing. It was bizarre. It was like, it was like they were just in training. Oh yeah! Now, now we're a week away from it. Um, none of it happened. It's all, it's all. Even the belt was... that they gave Braun Strowman is gone. He didn't have that on Raw. Yeah, he didn't bring it to Raw. It was bizarre. It's, the whole thing. It's just. They, it's a, as if it never happened. Now. It is. It is really. It is was this the really whole Saudi Arabia show. thing they did? Yeah. The yeah. The five hours spectacular. Women and just. Yeah, yeah they were gonna sweep that under once the money the check probably cleared and I, they went ah, see ya i mean yeah. the atmosphere was weird because pretty much the entire floor the floor section was conned off for the saudi prince and all of his guests the rolling armchairs just sat there chilling out as opposed to like a huge crowd of people so pretty much every, all the fans are in like the stands mm. and then it was, it was just a i was watching things going this looks sloppy is it just me that noticed that kev well, the, just, not the, travel, <laughs> the travel schedule that they had to go through, they flew in to Saudi Arabia that morning. Right. Um, 
after what a 12, 11 12 hour flight to get from new york to saudi arabia yeah. um we're at the show for 12 hours the call time was like eight hours before it started and then they were straight onto planes afterwards no one got a hotel they were straight on the plane really? back to new york and yeah. then their connecting flight to take them to canada for raw was cancelled so they then had to drive from new york to montreal so they basically didn't sleep for three days so yeah it was pretty sloppy it, it just it just fe- it just felt like I was like going that didn't even look remotely close to being like a, a a punch in the face it didn't even that didn't that didn't look it just it looked oh, even the bit where Jeff did. Hardy did whisper of the wind and then Jinder Mahal from the other side of the ring just fell over because it was supposed to hit him and he was oh, near yeah, it was amazing yeah, yeah. and I tell you, the best thing was it was um, the Titus O'Neil is it oh yes the, that the... that was the best that was that was Made made the it almost made it worthwhile Steve watching. Five Allen, hours you two it. must have seen the Titus O'Neil slipping under the ring thing on Twitter. Yeah, we spoke about it. No, <laughs> it is brilliant. It they don't even know who they are. And the, the fact that they they just went with it and they kept showing it on replays and over so and over that's and over you can again. Guarantee Vince McMahon sat there at the back just giggling his face off. That's exactly the kind of thing he'll think is brilliant. <laughs> ah, someone made a fool of themselves. Cancel the rest of the show. Just put this on replay while I laugh. Someone who he's not a massive fan of who didn't get didn't get suspended at some point last year. He got suspended for laying his hands on him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he's like, let's show him up. And then, yeah. oh, it, that was that was almost worth. Like, uh, it was almost worth. Really- Mm-hmm. I apologise to you listening folk if you've made it this far congratulations I'd have stopped listening by now with Discord being such a tool Discord you're a tool yeah. I assume Pab's going to edit it together like golden I mean, uh, grams I'm stamping so it's fine um, what was I going to say now yeah uh, I mean um, I forgot I've lost where I was going with that now you were going to give me £10 was I? Mm. okay well, I'll, see you. I'll see you in a few weeks thank you um, uh, you're yeah. talking of a few weeks, Pab. When we are at uh, Comic Con, you are taking us to the ice cream place, aren't you? Because I'm going to be on it. Well, both. I Which want a Ben and Jerry's cookie, and I want an ice cream from the lemonade place with a car in it. I'm sorry, what? You know the lemonade place nice. with the car in, where you got us? Because we're in that hotel again. I'm not going to be any more specific than that. Because I don't yeah, want people yeah. I'm on invading the one. Yeah. our hotel. Yeah, I want to no, go there I'm for the, an I'm ice the way cream. back to our hotel. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, not the one. Because we'll we'll be able to have sweets and stuff again then, and I'm I'm ready to get stuck into Back some ice cream, and I want ice cream every day. I want I kind of want ice cream for breakfast if you can arrange that for me. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'll look into it. Because you are the ice cream man. I shall look into it. Good boy. Um. Yeah. I so the greatest Royal Rumble was stupid. Are you watching? You watching TV, Anna? Well, I watched one episode of Happy on oh, Netflix, crazy. and I'm That's not allowed awesome. to watch it without Kevin now. Yeah, it's supposed to be good. It's but it is good. mental. It is, like, the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, he said mature, and then I saw um, a unicorn and thought, all right, I, I don't mind mm-hmm. watching that. And it, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen, but... um. Yeah, I'm not allowed to watch it without Kevin, so can't say anything else more about it. But it was, yeah, there's the, the man in there. I don't even know what he's from, but he's like really familiar. From Happy Christopher Maloney. Yeah, I yeah, can't, he's been I in a few things. He's, he's picture where different. he's from, but um, it's good. Yeah, I don't know. He's he's in he's in a few different things, but he's good. He's a good actor. But Kevin said it was a graphic novel. So. Yeah, it is based on a graphic it's novel. Graphic isn't, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh, well, there you go, then. There That's you why go. It's so nuts. Yeah, there you go. It's a very That's clever so idea, go. isn't it? Um, the unicorn being the, the, the victim's imaginary friend. <laughs> I'm just like, because when I first saw it, I thought that looks mental. And then I thought, nah, I don't think I like that. And then when I heard that, I was like, right, it's on my list after a <laughs> week now. Um, it just it just looks nuts. It is. Splendid. Um yes. So any more television? No. Um I've been watching The Rain that got released today. The Rain? Yeah, the Rain. R I A N. Um okay. it's dubbed. It's Scandinavian. Okay. And I'm not <laughs> 
quite sure what the hell it's like. Is the rain killing people? Yeah. Basically, they can't go in the rain. I thought, fine, that, that, you've explained that. But then they don't tell you kind of why. And all you find out is that there's a bunch of bunkers that are dotted around, I don't know, Sweden? Is Sweden a country? <laughs> yes, yes. Is Sweden a country? <laughs> I don't know. But um, around that kind of area, and that now they're going to find their dad who left them there. And on the way, they've met some people that want to kill them, some people that want to help them. It's so very strange. And but I'll, I'll, I don't like normally don't like dubbed things, but this has got like post apocalyptic kind of thing, and I like that. So the the dubbing's not really bad. It's just they've got accents. I tend to see um, dubbing as like they only do it on English stuff if it's particularly good. So that's probably a sign of quality because if it was a bit ropey, they probably wouldn't bother putting it on there. It's because (laughs) they keep, um, I keep seeing it on Facebook, like advertised by um, by Netflix. So I thought, okay, you keep going on about it. I'll, I'll watch it. So I did. You just reminded me, actually. uh, I watched One Punch Man. Um, which is quite an entertaining. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't. This I'm just one? trying to see what its origin is. Um, it's a manga on Netflix, but it's about a superhero who basically can kill anything in one punch. So he's really bored. He's oh, fed right. up with existence. <laughs> he he basically. Uh, I think he had a life that was falling apart and boring. And then while he was walking home from work, feeling absolutely suicidal and, and catatonic, no, uh, a weird crab man stopped him in the street and just said, <laughs> you know, get out of my way or I'm going to kill you. And he was like, just kill me. I don't care. I'm, you know, what's the, what's the point? And the crab man was like, you're as miserable as I am. I'm going to let you live. But I need you, if you see this kid with an ugly chin, let me know because I owe him like what? a stabbing or whatever. Um, <laughs> so the guy's walking home and he just sees this kid with this massive chin that looks like a bum. Um, it's just ugly kid. And the kid's being a bit of a moron and he's like, you need to go home. There's this weird crab man after you. And the kid's just like being really dumb and saying like, oh, you know, don't tell me what to do or whatever. And then the crab man appears and he's like, you're the kid I need to kill. And the man's like, you know, you're not going to kill the kid. So he decides because he's got nothing else to lose, he'll uh, he'll fight the crab and kills him, and then he he gets like a taste for being a hero, works out a lot, gets to the point. So in like a in like a montage sequence, gets to the point where he's so powerful he can kill anything with one punch, and then it sort of cuts to three years later, and he's just bored, he's suicidal again, he's <laughs> absolutely fed up because he literally can't be beaten, and um, it just looks like every episode is him getting excited because a new villain appears and then he's just really disappointed because he kills them with one punch. Um, I don't really know how it possibly has a whole season and it looks like a season two's coming out, but I was entertained by how I over mean, the it's been going for years and years and years as a manga. Uh, so I knew uh, it must have started as a book because it just, I remember the name and I recognised the bald guy, but it's entertaining. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it was good. I'm glad it's, it's on Netflix. I watch it every now and again. Splendid. Any more for any more before comics o'clock? Um, I, think so. I think we're good. Anna, tell I mean, us about all the comics you've been reading. I've got time to read comics, Kevin. Hmm. Wish I did. Well, I'll have like five months off in like the second week of June, so I don't really care about everything else I have to do before then. It's May now, so I'll have lots of time to finish. Far Cry. So you'll become the comics Rooney, expert in that time, will you? Um, oh no, I'll be game the game expert because I'll finish everything and play everything. Because you've got Detroit, haven't we? In a couple of oh, weeks. Oh yes. And then the last, and then um, the last week of May, the is it U- Yuko's Island comes out. So I pre-ordered that because that was I loved playing that. It's like a pinball island game. Yes. It was the last game I played at EGX last year and I loved it. So that's coming out. So excited. It was and the then best game at EGX. Pardon? It was the best game at EGX last it year. It was because last year it was either games that I already knew 
what it was about and games that were already out and this one I'd never seen it was just going I was like oh there's no one sitting there I'll have a go I had a go and re- really really enjoyed so, it so to awesome. answer the question about if you've read any comics no yeah. no <laughs> no no not this, not this week um, are you sticking around while we talk comics, or are you just? No, I'm going to go to bed. And where can I'm people tired. find you on the internet? Um, various places. I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram. You're not going to give them a clue I'm about on how to find you on any of these um, places. Though. Just find Kev, and then you'll find me, because <laughs> I have so many different names. Whereas you have one name, so if you find Kev, you'll find me. You know, what? I didn't take that. Um, that that. Um, I'm so sleepy. I didn't do that. I, bye I, bye, I, Anna. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, so next week. Happy birthday. Yes, thank happy you. Birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right. Bye-bye. Comics o'clock. Yes. 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 Have yes. you seen what DC have done to upset me this past month? No. They've cancelled loads of stuff that i really enjoy (laughs) um they've cancelled some stuff i know you kind of enjoy they've cancelled dc bombshells yeah Um, that had been going too long it had run its course they cancelled the titans without resolving anything they cancelled super sons without resolving anything uh trinity which i hadn't read actually but that's been cancelled um sounds like a whole lot of b titles that no one cares about well some of them like new superman's been cancelled and i don't care about that um the justice league one had been cancelled but it was like some of them fit quite well into the supergirl's been cancelled it feels like they've cancelled a lot of their ones where they they should be making more of an effort with them really um but no, I'm particularly disappointed about Super Sons because that got me really into it all again. Um, I really liked reading about Batman and Superman's kids basically becoming heroes. Um, I could have read that forever, really. But um, it's some new guy started from Marvel. I, I say some new guy. He is famous. I recognize yeah. the name, but I can't remember which guy it was now. And now I'm on the spot. Um, Bendis won it. Yeah, he's come in and basically cancelled everything that he doesn't like. Harley Quinn, I think, has been cancelled. Justice League of America. So it is a lot of B ones, but Titans was really good. I'm kind of I'm disappointed about Titans and Super Sons specifically. I mean, realistically, I mean, I, th- I thought aren't, aren't they writing it out in the Superman book? So uh, hopefully, it, 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 comes, it comes, it's written out somewhere. To where Super Sons comes to a logical conclusion at some point. I've read that somewhere. I've heard that somewhere that that is what happens. I'm oh, not okay. certain exactly, but right. I, I'm fairly certain it comes to an end. You know, in some way or another. What does that mean? What do you mean? I'm going to kill one of the sons. Are they? No, I don't know. I just like as in like the. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know, but I, like I say, I've, I've they might somewhere. just be in it. He's in. I mean, that's one thing I suppose that is a really good point is that. For example, Damian Wayne was in all the Batman comics, all the Super Sun comics, some of the action comics and Superman comics, and um, and the Titan comics. So he didn't really need to be in six or seven comics all at once. He he can just be a background character in Batman, and that'd probably be enough, to be fair, I suppose. But um, I just like seeing them. They, I think Superboy is quite a cool character in this now. Um, really yeah. gearing Damian. Damien up to to do something with him later on. It just felt like, I mean, they've tried a hundred times, haven't they, I suppose, but um, this time they seem to be making a real effort to make him just cleverer and better than Batman as a kid. Like, you know, his potential was much higher. His ceiling is much higher than Batman's, for example. The cancelled Batgirl and the Birds of Prey as well. I mean, like I say, they are, they are all, <laughs> like I say, they're all just, the the ones that they took a chance on to me, you know, they took a chance on will they go, if they go, then great. If they don't, we can cancel them down the line and without any great uproar, realistically. It seems odd that they're putting so much now into their new, the terrific silencer. Oh, the thing as well, yeah. yeah. So I suppose that's it, they've got to make room for them. Yeah, exactly. Um, they've only got so many people to write on these things and got to cut it, cut the cloth accordingly, haven't they? I'm trying they to, want to give you a chance. 
There was one I saw that sounded like it might be interesting. Actually, I can't remember the name of it now. If I if I remember it, I'll see it online. I'll I'll, I'll chime in. But yeah. um, they've also announced their DC Universe uh, setting, haven't they? With yeah. the Titans and Swamp Thing TV show. Oh, yeah. There you go. No thing that cool. cancelled in six months. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going to be on their platform, so I guess they can't afford to cancel it. Because if they cancel the four, one of the four shows they've, they've decided to put on it, then there'll be a it's Titans, Harley Quinn, Swamp Thing, and uh, I think it's Teen Titans, whatever the word is they do. There's, I can't remember now. There's, no. there's a t- possibly. Hang on, I'll um. DC Universe. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sheepdog. <laughs> you Google away. Yeah. Um, well, I want to be right with my stories. With my yeah, yeah. Words. Um, um, go on. I did get my um, Action Comics 1000. Is it 1000? 100? 100? 1000. Oh, it's no, not what it was. 100, is it? I was thinking, I was thinking 100 <laughs> seems low, but 1000 <laughs> seems really high. I was like, that, I was like, trying to find a minute. 30s. Yeah, I know. I was thinking, sure, they've rebooted it at some point. 1000 seems almost worthy of it. Of yeah. A... <laughs> it was I've young. Just... I've not, not read it yet, but I've got it it's signed and what have you. It's all signed, and I kind of don't want to read it now. Um, but I will do. I'll read it probably for next week. Uh, it looks nice. It's very cool. I I enjoyed reading. I might read it again. I don't normally read them twice, yeah. but I feel like there was lots of bits in that. Um, like I said before, there's that whole they, they've tried. Someone tried to write a story that made the thirties tie into the current, without it being weird and conflicting. Um, it was Young Justice Outsiders was the other program. Right. Um, it, that's an animated series, though. I think Young Justice was quite popular, wasn't it? Mm. With people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know whether Harley Quinn is a proper program or whether that's animated. That's... Probably animated. I don't know. But... Yeah, it is actually twenty-six episode animated. Um... Yeah. So Swamp Thing's a drama, though. I don't think that's animated. Should be. Should mm. be. Um. Well, what did I? I've ordered um, DC Nation number zero. Which is which? I found out it's free on Comics Yeah, I've just downloaded that on Comics yeah. as we're yeah. talking. Yeah, it's it's a tee up. It's a tee up to the DC Nation sort of like it's not the next rebirth site thing. You know, the next set of arcs of stories or whatever it is or something like that. Um, next excuse to get us all to buy books. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I I bought this one. Not really, and I could have read it for free online. But to be fair, it was only twenty five pence. Is that the one they're going to give away tomorrow? Free comic book day? Uh, no, I, d- I don't think so. I mean, you might do. But I don't there know. was a mystery DC title that they hadn't... Um, and it was called The Mystery. <laughs> just I assumed the, I mean, the question mark was them hiding it. Um, I'll have a quick look now. Again, I'll yeah. Google it. Yeah, um, I don't know. This, was a, this, this is like a small... like There's like three stories, I think. There's a Batman one, a Superman one, and a Wonder Woman one, is there? Sounds about right. The Hold the phone. Stone. Yeah. There's a new Brian K. Vaughan book as part of Free Comic Book Day. Yes. Called oh, Barrier. Right. Yeah, I was going to say about that. I don't remember if that was Brian K. Vaughan or not. Um, that was actually, it's got the guy from, uh, uh, well, um, I can't think what now. Um, what time does the comic shop in Peterborough open? Because I've got to be, I'm in Leamington all day tomorrow, but I could get there for nine if it's open at nine. Um, I think what? it's open, Close Encounters. I'm going to be yeah. there from about that time. Um, yeah, so Brian K. Vaughan put at the end of Saga, I suddenly thought I'd mixed up my comics. At the end of Saga, the most recent uh, comic of that, he said, yeah, my, my book Barrier is uh, going to be given out. The first 50 pages are going to be given out a free comic book day. You can only get that if you're going to pay for the paperback comic every month. You can't get a digital version. You can't get it in trades. You have to follow it as a comic. So make your choice now, Kev, whether you're going to bother to read it and then buy it every month because they're not going to, apparently they're not going to do a trade of it. Well, if they're not doing a trade and they're not doing it digital, it's not going to be very good, so I won't bother. Mm. I'll let you know. I'm not going to follow his silly rules. <laughs> um, I'm quite excited. I read a little bit about what it was going to be about and thought, yeah, I'm, I'm game, Brian, if you are. Um, it opens at 9.30 tomorrow. I might well be there outside at 9.30, grabbing myself a copy <laughs> of that, and then hit the road to go to Leamington. 
my wife's being irritating and going for a run and then coming home and then going back out again. So I don't know what time I'm going to be there based on that. Well, I'm going to, but I'm going to take what I want. And then I know you are. Ground. I know I'm familiar with your actions. Um, <laughs> when I get there, it's a smoldering mess. I'll be gutted. Um, I thought they'd moved, but apparently not. Well, they were still there on Wednesday when I was there. I'm going to mooch about. Um, the rest of the do. free day looks pretty cool. Um, there's there's more there for my daughter than there is for like, but there's prob- not well, for, for, free, for me. Free comic book day isn't for us. It's for yeah. people like your daughter. We're going to buy comics regardless. They don't need yeah. to convert us. They're trying to drag the new people in. Yeah, is that it right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a, you don't want to know. I'll be up at six tomorrow, and out the door for seven to go to my comic book shop tomorrow. That's because um, you're in a big city, so you've got all the fancy stuff. I've got to go. I've got to get to Travelling Man. Travelling Man opens at 8.30 tomorrow. So I've got to get the tram into town and then walk from the tram station to the to the shop. And then there'll be a queue round the block for it, like there always is. Because Travelling Man is different to Forbidden Planet and anywhere else that I go to. Because they go, here's a bag, get what you want. Do you and know you what could, surprised take me? Everything. I didn't realise that they have to buy the comics. I thought they just got sent them. Did... Mm, they definitely they, have to buy me, right? They have no. They do definitely have to buy them. Um, to be honest, I'm a little bit annoyed that some somebody <clears> basically <throat> went and posted that on the Close Encounters Facebook group, saying, I "Just want you all to be aware that these shops don't get sent these for free. They have to buy them all." So keep that in mind. And now I feel all guilty because I was just going to go there and take about twenty of them. <laughs> just, well, yeah, I you know, I, I, get go them, I got them all and didn't read any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I read most of them. I've still got some around the house where I didn't read them, but I read yeah. most of the ones I got. So I don't feel that bad because I read them and I do spend money in there. But That's I just true. felt a little bit guilty because I wasn't particularly planning on spending anything tomorrow unless I particularly saw something. I've got a bit of a yeah. pile of shame building. Yeah. Um, it won't stop me filling my boots while I'm there, but I feel like I have to pass the guilt on and let everybody know that, yeah, they're paying for these apparently. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the whole point of it. You get, you get people in the shop buying stuff. And I, I I justify it by buying something while I'm there. I try yeah, to I buy something, buy something, while, something I'm while I'm in there for free comedy. Yeah. Day. And I'm I've got the sheet dog. I think <laughs> tomorrow. I think the, the Eisner Award the nominations came out earlier this week or late last week. So well, I've got I'm, a list of them I as well. I was planning on picking up the rest of the saga pops, but some absolute hero sent me them today. So I've now got to, I've got to rethink my plan of attack entirely. <laughs> so um, I don't know what I'm going to buy tomorrow. Now I'm just literally going to pick something up so I can spend some money and not feel like a monster. I am getting some of... Pokemon stuff for my son in there. I'm not a complete Nazi, by the way. Um, mm. What no, colour no, lion cat did you get? Just the normal green one. There's about three or four, isn't there? There's a, yeah, there's there's a, red a pink one. one. There's a gold one. I have. I still haven't got what's her face, the ghost girl whose name I can never remember because she just doesn't seem to be available anywhere. Yeah, I've yeah. not seen that anywhere. If anyone finds, it's not even on Amazon. If She'll be finds, everywhere at Comic Con, won't she? Well, that's what I'm thinking because that will complete my saga set now, apart from variants. But I've already mm. told Anna we're joining the queue for the Comic Con exclusive Spider Man one that they're getting. Yeah, there. I might have to get that one now. Although, to be fair, Kev, you don't need to join a queue because last time we walked up and there was hundreds of them. You don't really. I don't think you'll need to need to queue for it. I think Didn't you and I walk around there, Pab? We, yeah, we, we did. We need Kev to disappear for an afternoon. We got so much done last year. Well, I'm not in there at all on Saturday. There we so go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Uh, have you read anything, Kevin? I've been reading rather a lot. Pablo. Okay. Good. Good good full you. names. Yeah. Um, I've been, I've restarted my Marvel Unlimited subscription. All right. Is, okay. I was spending too. I'd started to spend too much money on comics again after going in pretty much an entire year of not picking up single issues. A few subscriptions had started to sneak in again really? on Comicsology because, as much as I like reading them off of paper like a caveman, um, Anna doesn't let me have a light on in bed to read. So if I want to read in bed, it's got to be on my <laughs> iPad. So I was I buying that. stuff. I was. I actually got to the point where I was buying some stuff on Comixology that I already owned in paperback really? just wow. so that I could read it. And I thought, no, this is silly. New rule. I only read, I, I, well, I'm obviously still going to get Giant Days and Saga and the real big stuff, Wicked and the yeah. Divine. But other stuff I'm only going to read on Marvel Unlimited. So I've been working through um, the Thor run, 
the Jason Aaron Thor run. So going through yeah. Thor becoming unworthy, um, Jane Foster taking over. I read the whole of Original Sin because it ties in because that's where Thor becomes unworthy in that, which is quite an interesting crossover story. And I'm about 10 issues into the most recent Thor run now with Jane Foster doing it. I've got the unworthy Thor still to go. And then I've got Secret Wars t- teed up to read as well. Because I've got the Secret Wars trade paperback for two years and I've never even unwrapped it. It's still sealed on my shelf. Nice. But I'll just I'll just read it on comic on Marvel Unlimited. But I've been enjoying that. And uh, it's Jason Aaron's just an absolute genius. He's He's moving up very quickly in my in my rankings of people who I'll just read anything they put out, apart from his Star Wars trash. I'm not reading no Star Trek rubbish. So he writes a lot of that. But the the Thor stuff that he's been doing for years and years and years now, he's all top quality stuff. Good Good Thor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's it. Is that your lot? Yeah. Is that your lot? I mean, I've read like 40 books. Well, that's that's a lot of issues, I know. All four related. Most recent Giant Days was uh, was good. I haven't but... read it. I've just been on my Comicsology because when I checked on the app on my iPad, there was nothing new on Wednesday afternoon. So I thought, oh, obviously nothing's come out this week on my subscriptions. But I've just gone on there now, and both that and Deadly Class, I think it is, came out this week as well. Yeah, I was going to say it's um it's good, but it's like a gap one almost. I don't know. It just felt like. The characters are on break from uni, and it feels like the, the comics on a break from story almost. There's definitely story there. It was it's still good, but I just feel like if I was reading this in bulk, this would just be one I wouldn't even notice I was reading as I leapt through the story. I guess. <laughs> um. <laughs> right. What have I read? Okay, so a few books I've read. We've had a few weeks off, haven't we? So a week off, haven't we? We have. Uh, yes. So I've read all of Redlands Volume 1, um, which I enjoyed to a certain extent. <laughs> um, I liked where it, what it was. So it's this premise of, like, these witches take over um, this town. Uh, this town is just full of maniac, like, misogynistic men in the 70s. Just call them sheepdogs. And, yes. and You are a misogynistic man here. <laughs> and um, they... They they are being tried and being burnt at the stake sort of thing for being witches and then but they are witches obviously and they, they get out and kill them all, kill the entire police station of this, this town and then take over the police station and become like the law of this town sort of thing and make it a much better place. Um and then there's it's it's just, it's strange. It's a strange book. So so it it flashes from like like periods in the eighties and then to current time, where the the witches are just maintaining the law, and then there's a, there's a killer on the loose, um, and they deal with that sort of pretty quickly on, and then there's a possession that goes on at a certain point where one of them is possessed by a, a young girl who's been murdered, and they're trying to find her body, but she like the ghost, the possessed the possessed girl is knows where the body is, so she takes them to it, and it's trying to find that killer. It's it's strange. I find myself confused a lot of the time with it, going, hang on, when's this? What's happening? Um, but I kind of enjoyed it the same, all the same. Um, whether I'll continue, I probably will continue, because it's it, it's all right. It's not bad. That was volume one. That'll be out. That'll, I don't know when the next volume will be. Probably about Christmas time, I imagine, now. Uh, the other thing I've read is Paper Girls volume four. Anyone else read it? I haven't read it yet. No, it's just sat no. there on my table. It is pretty damn good. I did the usual thing of having to go back and read the previous volume because I didn't know. I can never remember what's happened. Um, so, at the end of the volume three, they are teleported, teleported from like caveman time sort of things, and end up in the year two thousand where there are giant robots fighting. Of course, there are. Yeah. I remember it well, Pab. I live through yeah. this, remember. I'm a little so, older than you. Right, okay. So I, I don't really want to spoil things, but this this is pretty damn good again. It's another good... I mean, it, it, it's why Paper Girls is so very good. There's a whole story to do with the... There is a comic book writer that is 
that nut comic there's a comic book writer in the in the like for the newspaper who has been putting these siphon codes into the comic book for years and knows all about this time traveling situation that's going on and she finds the girls at one point um it just goes it's really good you need to read it you need to read it it's so good paper god is real good and the it don't don't sit on the fence though pav is it any good it's very good um and when it leaves it it's pretty damn cool it, it, the end of this book i mean like i say it goes places with like the giant robots and seeing certain people in the future in the year 2000 they're all terrified of like the the Y2K bug has turned the world into like this terrible, this like place where there's looting everywhere. So the the entire town is just like a ghost town sort of thing. Everyone's in, everyone's in, like batting down the hatches and there's looting going everywhere and what have you. So it's a bit of a, I don't know, it's cool. It's cool. And like I said, I wasn't quite sure of all the, the future stuff where, where they've got these futuristic, the adults sort of thing, trying to deal with these kids that are time traveling. But it's really cool, and the the I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who. There's like a there's like a it's called like it's called like the old father or something like that. Who's like this the the main guy? He turns a bit sinister towards the end of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. This is the thing with these books. Yeah, I always enjoy them, but I never know where they're going. Like well, I do because I know the end. I know where where the, the time travel to at the end of this book, but I I never know which twists and turns it's going to take, and I'm just entertained by it every time you read a new book. And then, by the time five comes out, I'll have to go back to read this again. They don't come out often enough for me. And this is the problem with with I I've either got I get into single issues, which I don't want to do, or I've got to make peace with the fact that I'm going to be. I I know what you mean. I'm disjointed with it. I haven't read this the newest Just one. Just wait three years until it's all finished. That's it. And read it That's, it. That's it. That is exactly it. I've got a wait. Have a saga. <laughs> I've got to wait till it's all finished and read it all in one go, or like I say, make peace with the fact that I'm gonna pick them up as and when they come out and forget what's happened. I mean, previously. it's so good. It's worth rereading each time. I've read Wicked and the Divine like three times at this point, and I enjoy it every time. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I suppose so. It is. It's fun, but I've got so much, like I say, I'm on my backlog and... Yeah, but when oh, something's think... as good as Saga or Paper Girls or Wicked and the Divine, you can just keep keep rereading it and it's just brilliant. Yeah. Still. yeah. I want yeah. them to make Saga into a film now. It's not mm, too big for a film though, isn't it? Yeah. It needs to be a TV show. Yeah, okay, but it seems like it'd be too much investment for a TV show. Yeah, it? It's it, would... it should just be a comic. No, nah, I want to watch it now. I think it's it's too good to not be made into more. Yeah, but things. let's be honest. They made they made Preacher, and look Preacher's what they did a good that. program. I like the Preacher it's show. Best. It's different, but it's good. It's not the book. It's not. No, the book. it's not the book, but it's all right as a show. It I suppose it. the last season was a bit ropey. It was fine, but it was it was just like Runaways is absolute dirt. I've been. Is it dirt now? You're done with it now. Um, you already. Well, Anna just turned it off midway through episode, I think it was episode four. <laughs> Because she was bored, she was just bored having not known what's going on. I'm just frustrated because yep. there's just they're still on issue one of the comic, but they dealt with everything that was an issue one of the comic in the last three minutes of episode one. Episode two, they redid episode one from the parents' point of view. I think they've been getting pointers from The Walking Dead yeah. um, and just redid it. Episode three, they just decided to do loads of angsty teenage nonsense and just tease it. Oh look, there's. There's the dinosaur. Oh look, there's some X-ray glasses. Oh look, there's and it, so we we know who's getting what. We oh, Anna was saying nothing's happening. It's just teenagers being miserable. Yeah, but at some point it's, it's going to get though, cool, it's and they're going to and yeah. But I just want them to. I want them to run away. <laughs> I don't want yeah. them to be living with their parents being angsty. I want them to run away and be brilliant because that was brilliant about it. And I don't know. I don't know how many issues this show, how many episodes so, this show is going to be. They're doing like the the preacher season one thing where they they, they stall on everything to like the last episode where everything happens, and so they're just building a story and like I tell you nine episodes. Saying, I will. I'll stick with it because it's one of my favourite comics of all time. Runaways. I absolutely love it. But 
if they if I get to episode ten and they're only just getting in a van together, I am tipping my TV over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so angry. Because <laughs> it's like Dawson's Creek with a dinosaur in a cage at the moment. Yeah, and I didn't yeah. like Dawson's Creek. It's a theme tuned to it by the cause. It might as well be. <laughs> uh, oh, you're right. watching Riverdale, basically, aren't you? I'm watching Riverdale with a dinosaur that we don't <laughs> ever get to see. Brilliant. Uh, it's pretty much the same as Riverdale, then. Right, get lost. I want to go to bed. If I'm you going go to bed early for comics. So, uh, um, Facebook, Twitter, places. D- right, everyone yeah. who's listening, send Sheepdog an email. I don't know, telling him that you listen to this bit because I read this out every week off a piece of paper. I don't need to do it. No one listens. No one does these things. Follow us on Twitter, MG UK Podcast. Follow me at Lelujo. Uh Yeah, follow me at RB6K. And if you do listen, tell me on Twitter. I don't email. I don't have an email address anymore. <laughs> Sheepdog at the internet dot com. <laughs> um, um, no, the only way you can tell me is by going on YouTube <laughs> to Sheepdog Says, <laughs> pressing the subscribe button. And if it good. doesn't bring up a message box, then you're doing it wrong. You need to go and make another account and hit subscribe with that one. Just keep doing it until one of them brings up a message box where I respond. Steve the Sheepdog at freeserve.co.uk. <laughs> no, my my one was better. YouTube. I wanna do. <laughs> Sheepdog says. What was I on the other day where it asked if my Kevin Chapman 82 at Wanadu got told? (laughs) Is this still your email address? And I just shouted no at my computer. I I, I can't remember what it was. Of course it isn't. Why are you even asking? (laughs) No one still has a Wanadu email address. It's not 1998 anymore. Have you noticed this whole GDPR thing that's happening next uh, is it this month sometime? I forget now. Um, but everyone's emailing going, can we still use your email address to spam you? And if you don't respond, the answer's no. So everyone's spam's about to disappear. Marvellous. I've cancelled MailChimp because there's no point in paying £5 a month for mailing lists anymore. Well, I'm going to have to rebuild them. <laughs> when were you paying for that? I've been paying for it for like the last two years. You can just email well, everyone and go, can I continue to email you? They'll say yes. Nah. Jobs are good. Nah. Nah. Email's dead. People still think I use want to do. Um, I've got a YouTube channel. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but you should watch that. In addition yeah. to Sheepdogs. One. When you're done with Sheepdogs, lies-filled videos, um, then you can move on. Lie-filled video. You lied about what my name is. You lied about what sh- how Shorts they got his name. You lied about... That video was, ju- it was just... N- nothing you said in that nickname video was true. Everything was a lie. The this, this Shorts Day stuff was true. All lies. Every last bit of it was lies. Mm, I think you, you lied just... about how you got your name. You lied about what Kirsty's name is. <laughs> Okay, Kev. Lied. Concept. In fact, you got that bit wrong. I never referred to your wife as Thirsty Kirsty at any point. <laughs> well, you said something like that. I already, sure that- I already know her, Claire. So she had to be Kirsty. Okay. I'm thirsty, sure it was something thirsty. along the lines so of I said she was thirsty and you said that's why we call her Kirsty. And that stuck. I'm sure that's what happened. You're, you've got to sober up. Um, <laughs> see you next week boys and girls have a good week thank you very much for listening you're welcome <laughs>